today we will start with fuel and its types. Fuel and its types. In this topic, we will study that how the fuels are used and what are the fuels basically and how many types are there. A fuel is a chemical which releases energy when heated with oxygen. Means, for example, if we take petrol, when the petrol is given heat in the atmosphere, it releases energy. Means, whenever any fuel is heated in the presence of oxygen that is in the atmosphere, it releases some amount of energy. This energy released may be in the form of heat or light. It depends upon the fuel which is being used. So, we can say that fuels are combustible substances because these are the substances which are going under combustion as we define combustion as a chemical reaction which occurs in the presence of oxygen and releases heat energy. So here we conclude that fuels are combustible substances. Now we will discuss about that what are the few characteristics of a fuel to be a good fuel. So characteristics of a good fuel. A fuel to be a good fuel should be Cheap means it should be available to every person. So it should be cheap and easy availability. Means it should be easily available to each and every human being at reasonable rates. So cheap and easy availability. Its next point. It should be easy to store, transport and handle. Means during its usage or transportation, it should not cause any problems or should not cause any type of much hamperness. Next. It should have high calorific value and low ignition temperature. Here we have discussed used two terms calorific value and ignition temperature. So calorific value is defined as the amount of heat energy that is liberated when one gram of fuel is burnt completely in the presence of oxygen. So for a fuel to be a good fuel should have high calorific value but low ignition temperature. Ignition temperature is the temperature at which the fuel catches fire. So it should not be too much low and it should not be too much high. It should be moderate. And last, it should not leave any residue on being used. Means on usage or after its usage, it should not leave any kind of residue. Now we will discuss about the types of fuels. We have basically three types of fuels.
they are solid fuels liquid fuels and gaseous fuels in solid fuel we will first discuss about coal coal is the most important solid fuel it is of black color and its main constitution or composition is carbon coal is formed from dead organic matter and it contains elements like carbon hydrogen and oxygen in india we have rich coals at jharkhand west bengal orissa and mp basically there are four types of coals they are peat lignite bituminous and anthracite this classification is done on the basis of carbon content in them among these four peat has the lowest percentage of carbon hence it is considered as the inferior form of coal but bituminous is the most common form of coal and is used as a household fuel also among these four anthracite is considered to be the purest form of coal thus have highest carbon content and is the supreme most quality of carbon available next solid fuel is wood wood have been used in ancient times or as a traditional chulas for domestic purposes means many time many years before wood have been used as a fuel next is charcoal charcoal is produced by heating the source in the absence of air there are basically three types of charcoals they are wood charcoal animal charcoal and sugar charcoal but among these three commonly used is wood charcoal and it acts as a source of energy next solid fuel is coke coke is hard solid prepared by destructive distillation of coal destructive distillation is a process of heating something strongly in the absence of air now we will discuss about the liquid fuels the most important liquid fuel is petroleum petroleum is considered as a black gold due to its wide usage and its importance petroleum is a most common form of energy it is also known as black gold just because of its usage it is a mixture of hydrocarbons that is carbon and hydrogen but they are present in their crude form due to this it is also termed as crude oil petroleum is formed by the decomposition of plants and animals matter which are deep buried inside the earth under the millions of year ago the decomposition process by which it is formed occurs deep under the earth between the layers of non porous rocks when a layer of petroleum is formed there is a formation of 
a layer above it of natural gas the biggest oil field which are known till i is in saudi arabia by the fractional distillation of petroleum we get many other products which includes kerosene which is the most commonly used household liquid fuel other product is diesel oil today this diesel oil is used as a fuel for lorries or heavy vehicles other is lubricating oils lubricating oils are used as a oil for machinery and they are also used as waxes and polishes and the last product which we get is fuel oil fuel oil is a fuel which is used by ships and many power stations now we will discuss about gaseous fuels in gaseous fuels first we will discuss about natural gas as we have discussed in liquid fuel that a layer of natural gas is obtained above a layer of petroleum so it is obtained along with petroleum and its composition is methane ethane propane butane these four are hydrocarbons and carbon dioxide nitrogen and oxygen it is the cheapest available gaseous fuel and have high calorific value it is a fuel which is considered as a clean fuel because it does not pollute the environment where it is being used it has domestic and industrial use both hence we conclude that natural gas is an efficient domestic and industrial fuel next gaseous fuel which we have to discuss is petroleum gas petroleum gas is consist of ethane propane and butane thus collective mixture of these three is termed as petroleum gas among these three butane is the major component of petroleum gas the liquefied form of petroleum gas is lpg which is being used by us as a domestic or a household fuel this lpg cylinders also contains a a gas known as methyl mercaptan it is added to detect its leakage as lpg itself is a odorless gas lpg gas is a clean fuel with a high calorific value it does not produce any toxic gases while its usage as we all use lpg so we know that it is easy to store and transport also and it is eco friendly that is what we have to study in fuels now we will discuss about biogas biogas is a gas which is obtained from biomass and biomass biomass is the chemical energy that is stored in different parts of green plants during photosynthesis is known as biomass the biogas 
can also be used as a household fuel or industrial fuel because it is clean fuel and does not leave any residue many times before means years ago biogas was also used to produce electricity but now technologies are being developed to use again this biogas to produce electricity as production of electricity using biogas is eco friendly means it does not pollute our environment it is safer to environment also to produce electricity by this here we can say that biomass is a organic waste which is yield or produced in the absence of air when this biomass is subjected to decomposition in the absence of air it yields or it produces the biogas biogas is mainly a mixture of methane carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide so composition of biogas is as follows methane carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide it is prepared by anaerobic decomposition it means breaking down of heavy organic matter into lighter organic matter in the absence of oxygen and in the presence of micro organism which mainly includes anaerobic bacteria these plants which are used for this purposes are of two types fixed dome biogas plant and floating gas holder biogas plant these both plant differ in their construction part and also slightly different in the working part also but the major difference is in their construction part while producing biogas we get some residue part also which is known as sclerwy this sclerwy is rich in nitrogenous and phosphorus compounds due to their richness in these two elements these are used for manuring the fields manure increases the fertility in the fields hence residue produced is also utilized for increasing the fertility of the fields this is biogas this is all about biogas here we complete this chapter sources of energy